It might sound hard to believe, but almost 90% of Australian jobs lost to the pandemic have been recovered. The latest figures show 50,000 people started work in December, bringing the total to almost 800,000 new jobs in the past eight months. But experts warn that recovering the final 10% will be challenging. Mitch Crawford is one of the 900,000 people who lost their job in the first three months of the pandemic. It's pretty stressful, as you can imagine. Um, you just assume that you never have a job and you're never going to get back and you end up on the streets. But the 29-year-old secured a job in Melbourne late last year and is currently being trained by his new employer. There's a lot of relief, as you can imagine, um, to sort of get back into it. That relief is slowly becoming more widespread. All states but South Australia saw their unemployment rates fall in December, taking the national unemployment rate to 6.6%. The resilience of the Australian economy, but in particular, you know, the Australian employers and the businesses out there uh, should never be underestimated. The vast majority of job losses were recovered in about seven months, but restoring the final 10% won't be as easy. If you still have some businesses that can't operate at 100% at capacity, I think it will be difficult to get your staff levels back to 100% capacity as well. Recent jobs recovery has been significant, but it's not been like for like. In 2020, the number of full-time jobs fell. Part-time roles increased. And despite December's jobs growth, one and a half million people, like Karen Perkins, are on unemployment benefits. In two months, the government's job keeper and the increased job seeker payments will be wound back, which will see people like Karen struggle. I'm going to have to go back to buying food when they have specials, when they mark them down just a day or two before they go off. The unemployment rate remains 1.5% higher than what it was this time a year ago. And economists predict it'll be years before it's back down near 5% again. The Reserve Bank warns that slow recovery means wages will be subdued for years to come. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.